Hi, seventh graders. Mrs. Lala here. Wait a second. I don't need a mask. We're on the computer. There is no risk of spreading the virus. All right, check this out. The bottom of my face. Oh, 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 check it. Before we meet Mrs. Lala, I thought I would give you a tour of Schoology. So when you log into Schoology and you go into your language arts course, you will see this materials section. This is going to have my availability, my email, um, my WebEx room, if you uh, during office hours if you want to pop in and ask me a question and down here this is called quick links so you can go from here to other sites like the DPL just by clicking the picture um, you can also go to order books if and when you do order books you should get them delivered to your house instead of to school this site is really great because if you're not sure what you should read next, you can click on that. You can put in an author, a book that you liked, and it will give you other suggestions. Um, and then Newzilla, we are going to use that this year. Read Theory and then Frequently Asked Questions. And I also have this cool links that if you click on this, this is a document of a bunch of different online educational games and activities you can do for different language artsy topics analogies grammar poetry punctuation vocab so those are the quick links okay so um occasionally i will do an announcement and i will put it in this update section here but for the most part you are going to be going into gradebook to check your grades and into materials so in the material section, if you scroll down, the blue folder, that's what you'll go into for all your materials. Um, once we've completed a unit, I will move it over here into this black folder. And this has just got um, some other resource information. So when you click on the course units, um, the only one you'll see week one will be this one. It will be blue. And then when week two comes up, I will put that one up there. Um, and as we complete things, I will move it to complete a unit. So this is week one. So you click on that and then you'll see the days of the week. There's and here are your activities for today. The intro video, that's what you're watching right now. And then the next thing is the attendance question. Every single day there will be attendance question, a very fast, usually one word answer question. And it is mandatory that you answer that every single day by 1 p.m. or you will be marked absent. So that's the first thing before you dive into any work, answer that. Another thing that you will have every day is called the daily journal. And so after you enter, enter your answer for the attendance question, you're gonna click on the daily journal and then you will see some directions here and basically, Every day there will be a question, a journal prompt, and this is your opportunity to write every single day so that you can hone in on your writing skills and improve your talent. How do you become a better writer? By writing, and that's what we're gonna do. So, Okay, so when you click on the daily journal for the very first day, and then it's gonna open up, give you the directions again, and I already put in there the date and the title of your very first journal. So you'll just put the cursor underneath that and start typing your journal entry. And then the next day, you're gonna open up this very same doc and you are going to put in the next date and then you are gonna put whatever the title is for the next, journal entry and you're going to type it. So you're going to continue working on the same document. So that means that tomorrow 
your document when you go into the next day is not going to be there. You have to go back to this folders and click in here to find it. Otherwise, you can just search your drive to find it as well. And when you're done with your daily journal, you will move on to Intro to Bibliognasium. You'll click on that and you will watch the video and then you will log into Bibliognasium and start building your page. The last thing you're going to do today is vote on your class names. Instead of being called Hour 1, Hour 2, blah, 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 yeah, basic, we are going to give ourselves a fun name. So you're only allowed to vote once, and your name is tied to your vote. So if you vote, in the wrong class, I will see it. So please stick to your own class to vote for that. If you have any questions anytime ever, you can email me up here through Schoology. That's a great way to ask me a question. If you go to materials and scroll down, right here is my email. I mean, you, that's my South Washington County email. You can send me an email there. You can also, if you go to course units, which you'll be working out of a lot, folders that says have questions, post them here. And then you can just write your question right there and I will reply to it. This is a great option for if you have a question that you think other kids might have as well, post it there. So that when you post it and someone else comes in and is confused as well, they'll be able to see the answer and go, oh, okay, I get it now. So those are the three different ways that you can um, send questions to me. And now it's time for introductions. I'm Mrs. LaFontaine Larson, also known as Mrs. Lala. Welcome to Lala Land. That's what I call my classroom. Some of you are going to come in person to the in-person La La Land, and some of you are going to be coming to the virtual La La Land because you are Virtual Learning Academy students, also known as VLA, but I like to call you VLA students because there is a LA in there, so naturally, I'm going to call you VLA. Getting to know Mrs. Lala. Meet the Lalas. This is my family, my husband, and my four children. I have three daughters and a son, and I'm mad for plaid, so we often wear plaid matching shirts for family photos. This is Mr. Lala, a picture of us at a wedding and at our own wedding. And then the middle picture was from last Halloween, where we dressed up like the Spartan cheerleaders from Saturday Night Live. Great fun. And then this is my oldest daughters, Brittany and Brianna. They are twins. Um, this one's Brianna. That one's Brittany. That one's Brittany. That one's Brianna. Next up is Alexa Grace. She's a 10th grader at East Ridge this year. She's also a Vila student. Um, the middle picture is her from the Winter Court Formal that happens in the winter. It was one of the last events she went to before the pandemic hit. And then this picture, we're in Florida. You can kind of see the palm trees, not the top of them. And this one was right here is when she was dressed up to go to the Chanhassen Dinner Theater on a field trip. Warning, warning, extreme cuteness ahead. This is the baby of the family. Baby Lala, also known as Landon. So here he is on the last day of kindergarten, which he finished in quarantine last spring. And now he's a first grader at Liberty Ridge, where he's going to do the hybrid program. He's a day A um, student, so he'll be there two days a week. He was Luigi for Halloween last year, and what was great about that is there's an L on the hat. So it could stand for Luigi or Landon. This is a pic after he lost his first tooth. And then here he is on what we call the red saucer. He's He got a new swing set this past summer. And he has been playing on it all the time. He's there right now. Fun fact, I 
went to Woodbury High School. I am a Royal. Go Royals! So I graduated from Woodbury High School, and there I am in my cheerleading outfit. Some of my favorite things include polka dots. I love polka dots. I think that polka dots are magical. Why do I think this? Because when you look at polka dots, it's a scientific fact that you feel happiness. How do I know this? I feel like there's a scientist somewhere that studied polka dots and figured out this scientific fact. So yeah, check it out. Next time you, right now, you're probably looking at the polka dots and feeling happiness, right? Right? I love coffee. Yum. Every morning, drinking my coffee. Family game night. We often play cards, dice, and board games. Um, so that's one of the things my family enjoys doing. I'm obsessed with the color red. Um, I love to read and I love trying new things. This past spring, I taught myself how to sew and I sewed a bunch of face masks for myself, my kids, and my husband. Learning new things is fun. My favorite celebrity is Mr. Will Ferrell. I'm in a store and I'm singing. Question for all of you. Did any of you attend Valley Crossing Elementary School? Question for you. If you answered yes to that, I want to know, did you have Mrs. Bill Meyer as a teacher? It Why, you ask? Because she's my sister. So that means if you had my sister, Mrs. Bill Meyer, for kindergarten and first grade, and now you have me, you are so lucky. Riddle. Here's a riddle for you. Let's see if you can get this one. What you get when you cross a mullet with an afro? Hmm? Well, I'll tell you what you get. My seventh grade haircut! Check it. This picture is from when I was your age that you are right now. Just when you thought I couldn't get any cooler. Check out that glorious hair. It's like it can't decide on its identity. Am I an afro? Am I a mullet? Maybe I'll be both. What was life like when I was a seventh grader, when I was exactly the same age as you are right now? Well, the year was 1985-1986. Anyone know what the number one movies were in those two years? Hmm. They were Back to the Future and Top Gun. I'm guessing you heard of at least one of those, right? A few other things for... Uh, Fads and trends in the 80s. Uh, glorious big hair. Check out that. MTV. Oh my gosh. When I was your age, MTV actually played music videos. The M in MTV stands for music. So they played music videos. There was no such thing as reality shows back then. Um, another thing, there was no such thing as the internet. Um, Cabbage Patch Kids were big. Pac-Man, big bold fluorescent colors. Um, if you want to know what life was like in the 80s when I was your age, these two different shows are depicted pretty well. The Goldbergs, one of my all-time faves. Um, that one is great for checking out what the 80s are like. Or if you want something a little bit scarier, you can watch Stranger Things. So it is back to school time. How do you feel? Is this you? Do you feel sad, emotional, distraught, and depressed? Why does summer have to end? Or is this you? Are you overjoyed, ecstatic, thrilled, and jubilant? No matter what you are feeling right now, how dare you put the water in my eyes? Those are it's back to school time. No. Fun, uh, fun little story about this picture of Landon. He was like about two at the time and we were at a grad party and he was eating cake. And so I put the cake with the fork on a cooler, right, you know, nice and low, made that a little table for him. And he was eating his cake 
and twirling around and eating his cake and twirling around and in between bites while he was twirling, his fork flew out of his hand and landed on the grass. And he went over to get his fork. And then my cousin, she walked by and she bent over and she grabbed the fork and she threw it in the trash. And this is what he did. This picture was right after that. My cake fork. So he was crying, but it didn't last very long because I got him a new cake fork. And he went on with his day, eating and twirling and eating and twirling. So I hope your first um, day of school here is a day where you hang on to your cake fork. So we're going to have so much fun this year. I'm so excited. We're going to have an incredible year. And I would like to say to you that no matter if you are hybrid, day A, day B, Vila, in school, at home, you are my guest in La La Land. Welcome. I want you to be my guest. Ah. Uh. Guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we provide the rest. Soup de jour, hot hors d'oeuvre, why we...